Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to actually hook a button up to some script so we can make it do something when it's clicked. So to get started, I've got a new scene here in my Unity project. I'm going to right click UI and create a button so that uh, I can essentially click it. Don't worry about all the TMP essentials. I'm not going to worry too much about Text Mesh Pro. I'm going to go into 2D view so I can play around with this. I think rather than uh, Text Mesh, I would import the TMP essentials actually just so we can get some text on here. And I'll just make this say, um, click to say, click to output high, or something like that. I will make this uh, auto size with a max of, uh, say, 72. That'll do. Just like, just like this. And now I'm going to center this button up here, and we'll make it actually do something. So we we'll make it so when we click this button, it outputs, output, outputs, sorry, outputs high. We need to write some code. So let's create a new C sharp script. And I'll call this button for now, or button output. It doesn't really matter. Of course, when you're making a big project, you're probably not going to have a dedicated script to one button. So let's open this script up, and then I will show you how we're going to do this. Okay, so we are not going to need the start or update methods. What we will, however, need is uh, to use to create a new method, which we will use um, to do something. So it needs to be a public so we can access it outside the script. And it can be a void or it can have a return type. I'm just going to make it a void. And I'll call this um, button clicked or something like that. And now to output, output high, let's just say um, system.console.writeline high. And we'll save that, head back over to uh, Unity. And now you'll see if we click on our button, how do we actually make it so we can hook this button into the method we've just made? Well, let's have a look. If we go into our button, we see an on click sort of box here. If we click the add, it'll add a new on click event. So we need to, we see we need to pass in an object and then we can mess around with functions of the object. So the object will be our script. So let's create an empty game object up here and we'll call this button manager because then we can put our button output script on the uh, empty object. And now if we go to our button under the on click area, we can grab our button manager and place it in this object. And you'll see we now get uh, access to the, every method in the every public method in the button output script. So let's hover over that. And what do we want? We want button clicked. So now, if we hit play, you see when we click this, oh, sorry, let me just make this print high for the sake of um, testing, make it, right, okay, now we go, you know, if I click it, it says high. So yeah, ign ignore my system .right line. I was doing something else which wouldn't exactly work for the Unity output, but basically, as you can see, every time we click it, it prints high. And we can do another one if we wanted. We can copy this and paste it and maybe make this button clicked too. And and so on and this one might say um well, i don't know let's let's print hello world and now what we now what we'll do is if we head back to uh, unity you'll see under our button clicked if we go over that so we've got button clicked and button click two so let's try it with button click two it will now print hello world or it should do and it does and we can change between the two to print different things and that is it that is the very basics of um signing uh, methods to buttons so I hope you found this helpful if you did please leave a like and let us know how you found it if not please give us some feedback and let me know how I can make this a bit better and clearer so thanks for watching everyone and goodbye